Okay, here at Aircraft Specialties, I'm about to start another project. Uh, this is the beginning of a turboprop-powered P-51 pylon racer type plane. And a uh, customer wanted a REN-44. And this is uh, one of the newer version REN-44s with Karo Start. And one of the things I'm going to do first is uh, I built this little test stand. Uh, I'm going to put the motor in the stand, fire it up, and just... Uh, you know, go through the startup uh, procedure and, and make sure everything's okay. You don't have to do this with a wren, but uh, I'm just going to do it because I have the time. And uh, I want to check out a couple of things. Uh, in the in the very nice manual, it comes with a nice uh, template. And one of the nice things about the wren is it has this uh, radial mount here. So really to mount this, you just have to uh, drill a hole in the front of your firewall. And um, then drill some, um, you know, drill some screw uh, holes for the mounting bolts, and you're done. It couldn't be simpler. Great unit. Okay, so I marked the hole uh, on the center line. Here again, this this was would be your firewall. You do the same thing, allowing for whatever right thrust and down thrust was needed. Very easy. I'm going to make the hole basically with this uh, hole saw which is going to get like 95% there and then I'll just trim the rest with a, a Dremel disc sander. You could also put uh, put put it in a, 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 a saw like a scroll saw but um, this is how I would do it if it was on the front of an airplane. Be right back. Okay well that wasn't too bad. The basic hole is done. Uh, now they're <laughs> There needs to be a notch put in for this uh, lubrication line, which lubricates the, the gearbox because it's outside the diameter of the mounting hole. So we just put a little notch in here, and then we can do the mounting holes. Okay, using my Dremel tool, I just put that little notch in there, and now the motor fits right up nice and flush against the firewall. So all I have to do is mark the holes. <coughs> which I use with the, uh, use the Great Plains uh, hole locator, dead center locator, drill them and mount the motor. So far, I've taken about hmm, 20 minutes, maybe 25. Then I'll be done. Once the holes are done and the screws are in, the mounting is done. Okay, about 40 minutes later, it's all, it's all done and mounted. And, uh, you know, little blind nuts there put on just like what it would be in an airplane. Another nice feature of this particular turboprop is Ren has these uh, easily demountable exhaust uh, stacks. So in the airplane, you know, your cowl would be here. So with these, you don't have to split the cowl in half to get, get these on. You just put them on and to whatever depth you need and tighten a little screw. Uh, another nice feature of, of all Ren turbines is a user serviceable Caro start plug. Um, it just fits in fits in the engine there, and if it ever goes bad, I have never had one go bad. But you know, if it ever does, you don't have to send the motor back to the factory. You just unscrew that, screw another one in, and you're you're on the road. From here on in, it's just a hooking up every. You know, you have an RPM sensor, uh, temperature sensor, uh, the Caro for the start uh, system. And a Caro for the run system, very, very, pretty much conventional to all current uh, Ren turbines. So now I'm going to hook it up and give it a shot. Okay, everything's hooked up except the uh, fuel supply, which won't won't take long. So while I charge the battery, uh, I'll hook up the fuel supply. But basically, it's like I say, it's pretty much standard. You have uh, your ECU, which is the little Zikoi version 10 pump filter. Y connector, uh, two uh, solenoid valves, one for starting uh, the start fuel and one for the run fuel. And today I'm using the REN uh, engine control unit, which simulates a uh, transmitter. So when you turn it on, you get uh, power to the, to the whole system. And I've already did the teach-in, so it's pretty much ready to go. If I turn this all the way up to a maximum, I'll get a, 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 a starter uh, on. So 
So all I have to do is hook up the fuel, put a propeller on it, and we can go. The lapse time so far has been about, oh, about an hour. Not too bad. Okay, about an hour and a half to two hours after I started mounting this motor, I'm all ready to test it. I've uh, got the fuel system hooked up. I purged the fuel and the Carol start lines. So, let's see what happens. I hear the burner burner lit. Switch over. Fuel ramp. A little smoke is normal. Perfect. I have, to atta I have to attach some kind of weight to the table before I go full throttle, so I'll do that in a minute. That's a good start up for the first time. Now it's cooling down, normal. I would say that was a very good start up for the first time. All right, so I put a, uh, I, I essentially tied the work table down to my truck, so uh, now I can try uh, full throttle after another start. Okay, start cycle.
Wow, that thing puts out a pretty good amount of power. All right, ready for the flight. Well, ready for mounting in the airplane. It's good.